So guys, have you accidentally convert your hard drive into a dynamic disk and unable to format your laptop or desktop computer? Then this video is for you. Because in this video I am going to show you how easily you can convert any hard drive from dynamic disk to basic disk and how easily you can install the operating system into it. Hello friends, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. Let's the tech begin. Guys, I am getting this error, default boot device is missing or boot failed because all of my hard disk partitions are get converted into dynamic disk and because of this, I am unable to format operating system and also it does not allow me to reinstall the operating system. Let me show you the live example first. For this, go to BIOS and insert your Windows Media. It could be your Windows 7. Windows 8 or Windows 10, the process will be same for all the operating system. As here you can see, all the partitions are get converted into dynamic disk and I am unable to delete or format. So how to convert this dynamic disk into the basic disk I am going to show you right now. But make sure guys before applying this process you should take your data backup because at the end of this process your all the data from the hard disk are going to erased. So make sure if you have any important data. Remove your hard drive and connect it externally to any of your computer and take the backup. Now let me show you how to convert your dynamic disk into basic disk. For this, press Shift plus F10 or press function plus Shift plus F10 on your keyboard. It will prompt you to the command prompt dialog box. Here enter the command disk part and hit enter. Now type list 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 and hit enter. Now type select disk 0 and hit enter. It is going to select your first hard drive. Now type clean that is C L E A N clean and hit enter. It is going to completely erase the data and convert your dynamic disk into basic disk. Now close the command prompt dialog box and click on refresh. So as here you can see all the partitions has been successfully get deleted. Now create new partitions according to your requirement and install the operating system. So guys hope you have enjoyed watching this video then please like share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below and for more amazing tech videos like this click here to subscribe to my channel technical tech and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video you will get a notification update. Thanks for watching.